This is Archbishop John Baptist Odama of Gulu announcing to you the good news, the beatification of Father Dr. Ambrosoli Joseph, which is supposed to be on the 20th of November 2022 at Kalong Parish. We are blessed that this beatification is taking place in our Archdiocese of Gulu. It was supposed to be in Rome, but Pope Francis decided that such event should take place in the area where the blessed to be has worked, so that his life can inspire the people of the area to holiness of life. We are blessed not only for the Archdiocese of Gulu, Uganda, for Africa, but for the whole world and for the whole Catholic Church in general and for humanity. May this celebration truly profit us. Dr. Ambrujoli arrived here in Kalong in 1956 and he dedicated the whole of his life until March 27, 1987 when he finally died and went back to the Lord. He was a priest and a missionary who dedicated his life here to serve the sick. He used his professionalism to bring healing after the command of Jesus Christ to his disciples, go out to the whole world, preach, heal the sick and raise the dead. This is what Dr. Ambrosioli did while he was here in this hospital. When he arrived here in 1956, Kalon was just a dispensary being run by the Comboni sisters. And you know, Father Dr. Joseph Ambrosioli came from a very wealthy home. But seeing the needs here, the suffering of the people here on the ground, this humble servant of God raised the dispensary of Calon to the statue of a hospital, which now has a capacity, I think, of 300 beds, you know, treating the sick. He was first of all a man of faith. He's a martyr. A martyr is the one who witnesses to the faith in Jesus Christ the Savior. He was a very, very prayerful man and also very intelligent but very humble. He used his intelligence, his professionalism to bring hope, to bring healing to the sick. to say that uh, Venerable Joseph Ambrosoli had a great impact on me. Uh, we are already progressing uh, with the, the arrangement for the beatification of uh, Venerable Ambrosoli uh, that will take place on the 20th of November 2022. Uh, we have already so far uh, had the seventh meeting was done today in Calon. Uh, the previous ones were done in Gulo in Kitgum, in Gulo, and Kalan again. The next one will be in Kitgum. So we have in uh, total uh, 16 uh, subcommittees, uh, and then of course it is uh, coordinated by the executive, and that is composed of the chairperson, that is Monsignor Matthew Dong, the vicar general and moderator of the Curia, and then uh, myself as the secretary, and then the other committees with their heads. Uh, we have already gone a long way. Uh, what uh, we have uh, achieved so far is that the committees are now fully, uh, uh, I mean fully in place and regular meetings are going on. And also we have got the permission uh, to raise funds uh, towards this uh, uh, process of the beatification. And uh, <clears throat> we are all very grateful to the different subcommittees for what they're doing. We are also very grateful 
to the host, host uh, committee that is here in Calon. And I'm also grateful to Calon Times, especially uh, the founder and uh, editor, uh, Madame Florence, uh, who is initiating this. And we're also grateful for all the information that is uh, passed through Calon Times. It gives us a lot of updates, some notification. Since this is a universal event of the Catholic Church, we expect many people to come. And we also expect that prior to that, there will be spiritual preparations like uh, prayers, adoration, and holy masses, and the vigils that is done here so that we people are prepared. I know that many people will come because of the faith in God and faith in the Dr. Ambrosoli and because of belief that he is in heaven and also he can intercede for us. And that is why many people will be coming. I uh, know we shall prepare uh, materially, spiritually, and all aspects. But on that particular day, most of the people will be coming because they want to be in touch with God. They want to, uh, to get intercession uh, through Dr. Ambrosoli. But above all, this occasion should bring us love, unity, and living in peace. And encourage us to encouragement to the people who have suffered so much during these various uh, challenges of life, including uh, the fact that we have a, an important hospital here that was started by Dr. Ambrosoli, and many people will have to again come up, join hands, and through the development uh, arm of the, these committees, that we may contribute towards the, this hospital that is named after Dr. Ambrosoli. When I heard that Father Dr. Ambrosoli was going to be beatified, it really gave me a very, very great joy. So for me, I said, he is worth. The fact that the people of Kalongo managed to keep this place when the rebels, even like the uncle of Mr. Alex, was taken and was going to be buried alive. But then, I believe Father Ambrosoli was praying for them, which changed the mind of the rebels. Those are all miracles of Father Ambrosoli. To me, I said he started doing his miracle even before. So he's, he, he deserved to be beatified. One of us is being declared blessed and so that is a, a great signal, a great sign for all of us that uh, holiness is possible, it's our common call and besides uh, holiness is possible in this, our environment where sometimes we might, uh, as it happens to all human beings, complain about the circumstances or the particular difficulties that we have and yet uh, we have to make uh, opportunity out of uh, difficulty. And this is a great teaching from Father Ambrosoli that in spite of the difficulties that he met, he was able to be a powerful witness of Christ in the midst of this reality. And during those times that uh, war ensued, there were economic difficulties and all those other issues. And he was able really to give of himself to create really a beautiful reality of of love of understanding of service around him so the people of Kalongo I think they are very very happy they are very grateful because the image and the example of one of us is being lifted up to the eyes of the world to see and particularly the uh, people of this area, they are, of course, like I would think many other human beings, of course, but I see that the people here are very proud of their, of their place, their culture, their origins, and, and the people who have also helped them um, throughout these years, especially with regard to the faith, to come to know the Lord, and to be able to celebrate that uh, 
uh, abundance of gifts that we have received from the Lord and to commit ourselves to follow the example of this blessed that the church is presenting to us. Uh, we are preparing hard, people are very committed, they are very willing and they are trying their best to make this day memorable. Good morning. I am the youngest brother of Dr. Ambrosori, of Father Ambrosori. He was older than I, 10 years, and we spent many, many years. The last years we were in Italy together. So I, I would like to, rem to remember this time and to give you more information that could be interesting, interesting for your group. Uh, my brother, Father Ambrosoli, he was studying in Milano and in 1943 uh, the situation in Italy was very bad because the, the German, the Nazis uh, entered in Italy and uh, did a, a big campaign against the Jewish people. Jewish people were taken to Germany in, in, the, in the various camps. He helped many Jewish people, Jewish people to escape in, to Switzerland. The fact is that we, we were leaving our, 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 our town Little town is near, just near the border, and Father Giuseppe, he was he was a young boy, a student, he did a lot a lot of help to the Jewish people to escape. But the, the, you know that when when a, a young man of twenty years doing something, people they in the in the in the village they say they speak. So the German, they, they knew it, and Father, they knew it. And Father Giuseppe has, has been obliged to, to escape to Switzerland for, to, for, for the period of the war. Unfortunately, in that time, there was a new, a new law that when, when the, the, the German and the Fascists, they could uh, know that uh, one was in Switzerland, in Israel, a refugee. The father was responsible, and so he came back. He decided to come back to Italy. It was very difficult. They entered and they, they took him in a camp near Mantova. And uh, at that time, my father uh, has, be, has, be, has been rapid to contact some people uh, and go to Mantova to Mantova to take out uh, Giuseppe from from the camp with the uh, obliging to go to Germany in the in the new uh, division of the, the Italian Republic of that time he stayed he passed uh, to one year and a half in Germany, very difficult, very, very difficult. Uh, lot of, of, of work, lot of work without, without complimentary food for the, what they did. And they came back on the, as a, um, came back in Italy and was sent just on the on, uh, on the front of the war, where they were. Fortunately, fortunately, the war we finished in 1945. After 1945, he, he had to finish the, the 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 study at the university, took the degree, and then immediately. He went up, uh, went uh, to, to London 
specialization in tropical disease. One year in, in England and then he came back in the family we, we knew before that what he had in mind to do, to be a, mis a missionary. In the same time to be a, a doctor, medicine doctor, surgeon, because the union of the two things was very, very important in his project. So in 1955 he was ordered priest of the Cambodian people. And then in 1956, in March, he, leave, he left Italy for the mission of Carugo, the mission of Carugo. And uh, what, what I remember, two, two parts of, of the two stage. One, when we were together, I was 12, 13, 14, 15 years, and, and my my family, my father, my mother, uh, put they put me under the protection of Giuseppe, who was very the, very serious, uh, 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 and so I was protected. I I had I learned many things from him, from him. First of all, the delicacy and how to manage with the people outside, like he did, was an example. He was always smiling and very a real friend of everyone, of everybody. What he did after, he, he, he made, the conjunction of part of religion to be priest, part of the surgeon, surgeon, very, very good surgeon in the hospital, and part of the manager of the hospital. Three things that, uh, that made him spend his life until, until, until 30, and the 30, 30 years of Car hospital of Carugo. When he arrived, the hospital didn't exist for so long at this person. And then when he died, the hospital was just in function of many people, doctors, many people, and, and always in contact with the family and the atelier of the plant of the family to send all ma the machines, etc., part, uh, uh, part of the um, surgical part, etc. The, 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 the hospital, the Italian hospital that they gave him when he was in Italy, Sometimes he, he didn't spend time with the family, very little. He was always in hospitals just to, to, to take what was, everything that was interesting for Carafon Carongo. Even the, the, some private clinic, I remember, and then I, I went with him to pick up some cut wood, some part of the operation that here was destroyed and they took because it was, was useful for his work. What I feel, what I feel, I heard that the beatification the, 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 and it's, I am very happy, but sometimes I, I am I, 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 I think this is possible, yes, this is possible, because when I, I, I lived with him, uh, 
uh, and, and I've seen what he, he did. He, the beatification is for the other people. Certainly, he was very humble and modest, and he didn't want to be beatificated. But the design that comes from the sky are, are different. Okay. Good morning, I am uh, Denise, I am Giovanna Ambrosoli, I am uh, the niece of uh, Father Joseph Ambrosoli, he was my uncle and uh, I have also the honor to be uh, the president of uh, Ambrosoli Foundation, uh, which is the institution uh, that uh, for because of the willingness of my family, the family of Father Joseph and the Combonians, they took up uh, the legacy of uh, Father Joseph. I remember uh, Father Joseph very well when I was uh, a little uh, child and uh, I remember him uh, in uh, uh, when he came uh, from uh, uh, Uganda to Ronago to uh, stay with his family, with his mother and uh, what I remember is uh, um, a very smiling man, uh, very humble, uh, very lovely with uh, uh, everybody and uh, when I met Kalongo many many years later I was uh, uh, so surprised uh, that uh, um, he never um, showed how difficult, uh, how heavy was uh, what uh, he was uh, uh, doing uh, in, in Kalongo. And uh, I also remember him uh, when I was uh, a young girl and uh, when he came uh, to Italy to visit the family, but uh, he was never here because uh, he was uh, always uh, in the hospital uh, to keep uh, all uh, the information and to make all the training uh, uh, to be uh, what he was, an excellent surgeon uh, in uh, Calongo. And uh, he was always uh, around to search uh, funds uh, and materials uh, to sustain the hospital. I remember very well when I was 13 and uh, I went to Rome for the first time together with my father and uh, my uncle, Father Joseph. And uh, at uh, that age I couldn't understand what he was doing. He was uh, trying to raise funds and support uh, uh, for the hospital. This is the little room where uh, Father Joseph lived when uh, he came back home. Uh, we are uh, in his house, the house of my family. And uh, this is the room of uh, Father Joseph. Uh, we kept it uh, as it was, uh, the bed and the wardrobe uh, and uh, these are some of the many, many books uh, uh, that uh, he used uh, for studying medicine, surgery and uh, all the techniques, uh, the medical techniques uh, uh, that he needed to, to operate in Calongo. And uh, it was uh, uh, usual to pray in front of this uh, Christ, and uh, inside uh, here 
we uh, keep uh, many letters and uh, uh, photos and uh, memories of uh, Father uh, Joseph. I have uh, several memories uh, of Father Joseph and also the last time uh, uh, when uh, I met him uh, before he died I was uh, studying for my degree and uh, he came into my room and uh, I will also I will always remember his uh, light uh, eyes uh, asking me what I was doing, what I was studying and uh, always very very careful to me and to the other people and uh, I met uh, and uh, knew him uh, uh, much better when uh, uh, as an adult I started uh, to work uh, um, to support uh, uh, the hospital and the school so when I arrived in Kalongo the, uh, the first time and also later, I was uh, uh, really shocked uh, and thought, uh, oh, how could uh, a man uh, together with the convoy and the sister, but also uh, many times alone, how could uh, he uh, do uh, such a, a great work uh, for uh, the most vulnerable and uh, the hospital to take care of people and uh, to train uh, women. And uh, so during these uh, years uh, uh, of my work in the foundation, I discovered uh, many, many things uh, about him. Um, through the, the memory and the stories uh, of uh, people of Kalongo uh, who uh, still uh, remember him and uh, he, he was uh, uh, really extraordinary in uh, uh, carrying on uh, 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 through so many difficulties and emergency and uh, conflicts uh, uh, his work one thing uh, that uh, I discovered uh, several times uh, reading uh, uh, his letter and uh, his document uh, is, uh, was the uh, great love uh, that uh, Father Joseph uh, has always had for, uh, for the midwifery school. He strongly wanted to uh, start up and uh, develop a, a school for uh, young women to become uh, midwives and also to become uh, uh, autonomous in their life. And uh, he, he had this uh, inspiration uh, a, long, a long time ago and uh, it, it uh, was really, really a great uh, inspiration and uh, we, we, we see it uh, especially uh, nowadays and uh, mm, he suffered so much, I read his letter to my grandmother uh, because uh, he was uh, always waiting uh, the authorization by the authority to uh, during those years uh, for the school to become uh, officially a midwifery school because uh, they needed uh, uh, to, to um, for this achievement uh, they needed uh, a, a supervisor a teacher and uh, something uh, always happened so it, it took a lot of time in waiting for this uh, accreditation and uh, uh, also when uh, um, he was uh, evacuated uh, from the hospital uh, during the war, using, during those terrible uh, days, he, he didn't want to, to come back to Italy and uh, to follow the uh, order of uh, his uh, super uh, superior, the, the father, the Combonian father, because uh, uh, he strongly uh, tried uh, 
uh, his best uh, and uh, he succeeded uh, in uh, finding uh, a a, a new site for the school to, to guarantee the continuation of the school for uh, these young women, for these midwives and uh, for the people. So, so uh, I think that uh, he, he died especially for, for the school, he sacrificed his life. In uh, um, November, late November uh, uh, 2019, when uh, I was uh, in Calongo, uh, we received uh, the, the news uh, that uh, Pope Francis had uh, declared the future blessing, uh, the beatification of uh, my uncle, uh, Father Joseph. It was uh, a very great news, uh, uh, even if uh, we, we think that maybe Father Joseph uh, uh, would be uh, quite ashamed of it because uh, he was uh, a very humble man who didn't want to, to appear uh, to be in the, the first line but uh, preferred to always uh, to, to work behind and um, the beatification was uh, declared because uh, uh, a miracle was uh, officially um, recognized by the church and by an official commission of doctor and uh, the miracle is uh, uh, happened um, in uh, uh, 2017 not in the in Calongo hospital but uh, in an hospital uh, uh, quite near Calongo in the hospital of Matani and uh, uh, there was a woman who, um, because uh, of uh, a, a bad uh, delivery, lost uh, the, the, the baby and uh, uh, was dying. And uh, the gynecologist, uh, who was, uh, it was an Italian taking care of uh, her, uh, was uh, um, extremely sure that she was going to die and uh, she, he asked uh, uh, to her mother who, who, is pray, who was praying uh, uh, near the bed and uh, together with some sister, Combonian sister, to uh, pray uh, Father, intercede Father Joseph Ambrosoli with uh, his picture. And uh, then uh, he went to sleep, uh, sure that uh, in the next morning uh, the, the young uh, lady was died. Uh, however, when uh, he came back to the room uh, in the next morning, the, the young uh, woman was uh, awake and uh, she was well and uh, she was uh, quickly recovering and uh, she's uh, still uh, live uh, uh, in North Uganda and uh, I had also uh, the, the pleasure and the emotion to, to meet her uh, once uh, uh, during the last years. The beatification of uh, Father Joseph uh, is uh, a unique, uh, a, an extraordinary event, uh, uh, both in Uganda, his land, and uh, in Italy. Uh, in Uganda, they, the community of Kalongo and uh, all uh, the, the country um, is preparing uh, the uh, celebration of, uh, the, the, for the beatification uh, that uh, uh, will happen in uh, Kalongo because uh, Father Joseph uh, still uh, rest in Kalongo where he asked to, to, to remain in peace and uh, even in Italy um, the foundation is working hard to organize uh, several meetings and initiatives to uh, remember uh, the figure and the work of uh, Father Joseph Ambrosoli um, there will be, uh, after the uh, first celebration in Uganda, uh, some days later, 
there will be other official celebration in uh, Ronago where uh, he was born and uh, in uh, Como in the cathedral and uh, um, together with the celebration we are going to inaugurate uh, an exhibition who tells uh, all the uh, story of uh, Father Joseph Ambrosoli and uh, the story of Calomo, of the parish, uh, of the hospital and uh, the school. And uh, we several video are, uh, were produced uh, uh, to uh, docufilm, some docufilm to tell uh, the story of Father Joseph Ambrosoli. Today we shall be interacting with a number of people to get their thoughts on this very important occasion that is taking place in Kalongo. Kalongo is a small town in the northern part of Uganda. This is a very historic occasion that we are seeing in this part of the country. My name is Florence Okio. I'm the daughter to the late Gina Wynn, who was a very good friend to Dr. Brozoli. I was born here in Kalongo. I grew, grew up here in Kalongo, studied here in Kalongo. I left Kalongo when I was already above 25 years. I want to give testimony on the good things that Dr. Brozoli did here in Kalongo. My mom, according to her, gave a story of the wonderful things that Dr. Brozoli did. My mother had a very major operation that took almost eight hours. According to my dad, who witnessed, said the operation was really major and he had even lost hope that my mom would not survive. But fortunately, because of the experience, the good work of Dr. Brizoli, my mom was operated, she survived, and she lived the entire life. My mom passed on this year in May 2nd, she had a fracture, and she kept saying that if Dr. Mbuzoli was still alive, she would always also be okay because the pain was too much. And she kept saying, you know, if doctor was still there, I would not be having this kind of pain. So doctor was a good doctor, a priest, and he touched many lives here in Kalongo. Um, Dr. Mbuzoli worked very closely with my dad. My father, Mr. Gino Wynn, left... He was born actually in Lokole, where now the district headquarters is located. He left Lokole was when he was a very young boy. He, they migrated, came to Kalongo with my grandfather, who was also a soldier in the Second World War. So when my father came to Kalongo, he started actually working together with the priest that was here then. And then when he was 20 something years, that was when he joined seminary. And then from there, I think something happened and he did not complete. He joined the teaching profession. But he was very close to the mission. Very close, he was working very closely with the mission. That was when now he went together with one of the 
brothers here to go and bring Dr. Mrozoli from Gulu. He was a very young boy, but very active and very developmental. So my father, together with other people, went and brought Dr. Mrozoli here in Kalongo. And from there, they started working very closely. We got Tiani, Kamaki Kerro, Yarema Payani, and Noka Burma Gin Burie, Gin Paddy Pioco. No put down Pagan. Locka Madame Tiacom, Doctor Brizoli, taken man. And a car market, when a doctor Brizoli can not take a tin my luna pee, Lilian, your yard. Tima Raja did a doctor Brizoli pay down a work care. Siana me work at ye. Mapiana me worry. The king of the Tiari Antony and Dwen will will lay. Kikel X ray by Doctor Brujuli. X ray my bed there. Lumoya be a while. Can you tell a Brujuli Tiani? Come up my X ray by Brujuli. Yeah, I'm really looking up being my tenant lamb. I'm going to get you a thing. 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 I'm we are in Kuno, we are doing X-ray. 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 We Moon, which are Timonga, Moon Kekangi, and then my bear piano and a teen near Bujul Kitty. Latin ticket remy come, come to men laro, a two shoe banner. See, the church are cock and him. The church cock a dear. He doctor and Bujul Lango Catawa. What a little unwell boot upping, down well, you to boot upping. Doctor Bujul did and down when could burping, you could mark a burping, down with your burping. You tell any journey. My people die. Big one, it's a no chore. She took a map, a doctor, and would do the chava no. He come down, and you and any tall, down a good ping. Doctor Baker, rear making mocking. Nah, nah, nah. Did you look up to my jack of work? One of my children, Yard Kitchaka and Pong Lur Yard Major Pong Lur, Lur Ruby Lur for Moon, your Yard Pong Lur Yard to my donkey O Maki O Don Lira Yarin Carcara. One of my children, ma in Yara. But you have a big coon. You can give a gay farm, Yara. Can you? Doctor, I'm going to take your pen. I'm going to take your I'm going to take your pen. 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 Rien gen ke la belgi ke twalo bugu bugu dok ke twalo me ario me a dek wando packing me a dek ke kama tru ka murdu ja ke yen wando packing gen ja ko diku ama i dok to yinde o lo de chere yue do wando ngwa tia ko do ni island chunya chue maraj ele ni mon wi po x-ray na ya wati dok to de ja lo ya wa yen ele na la dok ko kala an pa bi chere kama I tell you, you're wearing all. See, you bear one doctor. How about you, doctor? 
yo mara ti nda ho wajer ba twa lo wanda ko kala an pa bebe ru kan ka be ru kan chu nya chu e mara jara jane ni twa ru da ko kala chu doctor wa no ti ko na ti kala an ai doctor don pe pa wa bi nana lo ko mama ti a da e ti a ma dong tu o ti a ko din wa en en dong o luwa go na an da wa wa ti doctor ma mara ti an wa ne len dir ti ka din ama da Kaca kwa nyi pia kaca dunyu kwa nyi kaca ma da dunyu kwa me dong de gi mo kaca kwa mo kaca ma de gi no kaca kwa mo kwa ta ni len kwa nyi nen ma ti ta rumil de kubiro goi chim gang wa gi ma gang wa ta bin an no pa mi ta gi ma gang wa kubihin kai ki yil gi ma gang wa pinga kwa ti yini ngi yoni ni ti gi ma gang wa ni kwa yi kwa kubiri nen wa ka yini pia mi kia da ma na na kubiro wa nen bisop na a chili ke la diet moñ ke o menne francesco jono bino e ci ama jono yab mak yab or kitu yen ma do mi ke dañ baram ru jeli kitu anen ye ci doctor bu jeta o tinyo mal kitu yen ci ama ye wi doctor bu jeli tinye ar be don wuñ ko ko anen o menno bino ma ci ti mo peti yo mo menno ci na to leme na leme tun ko ci na leme tun ko ci Yo o kwa nyo ka ta chimo nen ka ta chimo ke koer ka ntien ba na no ta yo kwa nyo ka ta chimo chu we lo kwa no kete chu o mien no pi wa o anyo chu o ka ta je ba ka mien no chu o wa mo nyo mo bi ka bi do mo nyo wa ni o e lo nyo we ra ka mo nyo cha do ka lo wa ra ka pi en gi no ti mo ba l me wa ngai su re ka gi ni en lo ko ko bi ke la ye la ko mo ci ta pa docteur mo djul mo ta djane ci ci ñe ñu ne ko docteur mo djul ci 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 ne extrait do am djul no pe mi ci ro kañu ma ki mir ne kañu no ben ma ko no do docteur mo djul bi ne ko yo me du yu ko ne yu ka la en wene en pe ci kañu ci la ñi re ka gox ko gi en to en du ko la e ki lo ke nu ne gi na bu djul ko mi bara ko mi fungua me metierta O mi e pongua me extre, o mi e pongua me de ore, o mi e pongua me gencha, ka ka ma ke ti ma ti e ti an tu ma ti an, ai o kwa nyo da pongua ti e li, dan pa nyira na ses, pa nyo mi a, pongua e nu ni ana ke lo, si ko mo ti a ke le, e ko mo arte, e ke pongua ar pa si sta ge ma 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 ta. O wa ta ne lem si re mi pun kwa no chi jin no jin no chi leng pia na ker kwa mo nyo wa ke wi ke ya e ne no ya ma ke ti ngai no ngi ker ke ro chi an wa ke wi li ya to kwa ni da no chi an mo ke ti o ra ke ti te kwa ni e me 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 ka ma ke ti ma ti ye cha ni ke ye gi na ke mi bo ru ke ni ru ke ni no ti ko no Apa ni mel pungua na mi ti o ke ji o ji ra ji ra ji el ka ba ni el len ji a mi na ki kwa ni ki poko ke lu ji a mi ma pi o to ba ji a mi na poko ke lu ji a mi ka nga tu kwa ni ji a mi na ji el ke ri ga nga pe o bi kwa ji a da lo kwa ana wi nya ma ri chi nya ki ri ni ma ki mi shon ka ni ma bur ki ji a ni pe apa ni pungua ka ke na ke lu te a ke el pungua ki da a wi a ki da ji ta lo ka ka ma anda do ki lira tuo ma ma ganal fes wa anti ka ka re tuo ma ga wi ko to la em petit ki ri yo ma a ri at pere ki ma pere en to gi na dong ti e a ko ni chal pa bur joni ma na bin ker ki lira en ni ana bur ker bi ya ki ta lego ker e a lego ker dan ma bi ru ko ka ko ka ngar ma bi ru ko dan no da petit yo ma mi ri ko nya ker e ci a da gi ni ni an ka en mu ye ci wa tour ca ye ci er ken ka tour ca ka ri ra tung tour ca ka te ka bu ya e ken weng tour ca po mal ti ye tour de ko mal pier ken ko weng wa na chang ki chal pa doktor am bu jori ci mi ana mo ko ca den mat pa doktor am bu jori ti ki ndio man len dok ki ca pa doktor am bu jori mo nyur ma ana nenu an ki ndio ma do ti ma ay tro mi ngo a ti mo ki ca Pi en la nyut ma yano timo bir, 
Ambrujuri kar mati makuakan. Jamulu ulu berbino dengi ariarkan. Gamen berbino dengi ariarkan. Tuyo gidu jalo pinne. Ento gamen tu nenu gidu jalo ginarai. Nenu gidu jalo ginarai. Si an loka malong masih cerkan. Ana foyo. Rubang oke dok Ambrujuri. Kamal leng. Bak bela Lego. La Bikira Maria. Kien mana gua ke buat kerja? Kau gua ke lebah curi, lebah curi buat balle. Entah buat curi di mana? Kau leg pih buat pih curi, pih ni nanti ane buat curi. Kau leg pih curi, laka macam ni. Ane laka macam ni jauh jauh bil kerja. Ane cium pada tam buat curi. Macam ni ane kaita. Kiri kau ane kiri leka lang, dua kiri leka ni. Kita cium ane kau ane kaita. Ki ki ira ki nga ki ira ki pien en bela tena chuli ti ti ko ena chinga wi wi kere ma pa wajo si a wajo wa ka med wi mo dong en no a poyo ya ni ala te ger mi ne ma ka piara bera wi a chel na kwa na sen sal ka e ka ra en no to ma ka meg lu te na wa de ki ker bi a ri a e ka ma ka ker lu te na ri a re Ane anu ti ber pati pam brujole, am brujole ngwe ngwe tiko miluti ane mau beta aga weng, o kwa ane megwa dek ben ti kini luti ane mata aga, ane tika dom kile mo na ane pengi ane ane kwa, wajo ni luti ane ni smell me kwa mdo lak ya, si dom kile kine, o cha ber ngar si luti aga, o ti ane ngar si luti aga, o dom megwa dek ane, a ber ka lega gino mama ramo ti ane pera, a lega ro ba, pera ka ra laga laga. Lutih anak nak kuat perlu tahu tiada pengen kiri. Si anak tiada kiri, abang jual anak tiada tu ada. Mar bayu mil. Dah kap abang jual ramai cari kian cuma leng. Kila ni anak cian mak anak ni anak tiada per per abang jual. Abang jual mereka mau berkat tuan lutih anak yang rare rare. Karena latihan kami kita lutih kata. Anu dua kaku kiri latihan berdua kiri latihan. Mian latihan tiga tiang tung tiang latihan. Ici an latihan tiga tahun tiga wira tiga dongka yo pun latihan. Cukup penyemian latihan ni aman ni alat latihan ini latihan aman ni alat dek wang tak. Gangguk itu nama kuara. Cukup dong cakap dok kita mungkin orang mabe. Orang mungkin orang cara wang mana aku yo pun latihan kita yo latihan ni mungkin kau mahu cakap dia luar nama kuara. Maka nojo kan nojo wang tak. Cukup dong tiga no. Ambil tu lebih ke kita lebih ke mama mata rekam dano. Cukup an latihan kita ambil tu lebih no. Kerja benda kuai lebo ramadhan. Tiap hari kita mar mar bami ok en en yang kerja lagi lagi buat lebo. Wajar dah nak kuai en ni, anak kuai. Anak aku kuai la ten yang mesti bina kuanya. Lewa kita berjual kuai kerja buat rakan kita kira. Anak tiga mah apa? Makar mana tiga kat tiga bot doktor berjual nanti tiga mah apa orang? Itu bot doktor berjual. Itu bot doktor berjual macam kalau kau ni nasi eh lokal nasi lebo sili. Nak keluar nak lakukan naj, je ikan mak ikan yang kita gang lakukan dia no, ini aku beli ni orang ni tidur long lakukan ayat dia ni, no wan lakukan ayat dia, lakukan no dek di cak doktor buat dia ni ni, tiga merah, entah wan macam apa wan apa wan apa wan wan dua, cuba tio, bayar pak buat dia ni mana ni no, ke yang, kalau mak buat dia ni mak ikan yang mak ikan lagi ni. Tak bini tu ke rumah ni ni bebe beta ni ada cuci ni jam ada apa ya apa ya apa ya apa ya barang bikin tu beri mak bayar tu kau yang latihan ni beri mak kuat ni 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 kau tiada mukanya poli beli cakap tu jeb tu jeb tu jeb mak mereka mereka kau yang kiri mak no cuci ni jam bayar yang ni bayar no tidur kiri no ini beti nana bayar pak buru jual eh bapa ana karma pelatih eh nenek mati bar kerja bapa ati kerja buat jenis amat ini ati mak bapa ni ni yatpe Pada waktu bawa, bawa nak buka, aku ingin tung celo balai. Papa, aku yang ni kira ni angguan. Kau semua ni mak kuat tung celo tak? Aku jangan mui aman. Pada bawa aku beta, yar baby, itu. Beta. Bawa anak dia, doktor lagi aku pergi bawa anak bawa anak cang. Aku yar baby ni nombor anak cang. Ini aku kira tu aku ingin pergi cang. Tu aku ingin nombor cang. Ayah, wak inu. Ikan madong buat dong dia. Anda wak di cang. Ada orang. Anjur mak lasio, kalau anjur mak lasio, ayah latihan mak mega mana bino kanyual, bino kanyual saya wah bit medicine, 
a bit of a rim, pa, a poor looking yellow. The bean doctor was a young doctor, Luchan, or take a young, take a young, be mad. I'm a doll lady, comma, what teach your can? Beer it don't down real land. When you went to be a good in game. A da doctor be no barra maker, pick come on your team attack. What's my tin and Latin, Latin, my mara? Antin de Beguero. Et ça, on est fait bête qui se fait une ma tête, de toile et baignoire. Ah ouais, docteur, comme il y a un peu de quoi, avec quoi on est mis, docteur, la peine, et il y a un quoi. Docteur, il y a un matin. Si vous avez un matin, 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 Quelqu'un Docteur, il y a un docteur qui a été fait pour moi. Il docteur qui a été fait pour moi. a docteur qui a été fait pour moi. Il y a un docteur qui a été fait pour moi. Il y a un docteur qui a été fait pour moi. Il y a un docteur qui a il y a des docteurs qui ont fait des choses. Ils 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 ont fait des Gangwatikono <coughs> Si karma babana ou à doc gang ou tiers ou à yoki ou mien ni le win ou mère ou ting le tien ou take along. Si j'en ou kelo le noya kang ma rapière bière ou y a bord. Si le noya docteur ou bien ou ya ona king king ou re ou no anti doctor et government kit goum. Si nous mais Ari a brûlé le tir comme la tienne. Ari, donc à l'angueu qui n'y est pas que l'on est capitaine Ari. La tienne n'est à nous alors qui que l'on gagne. Il pire bord ou il bichier. Il carme donc il pire bord ou il bichier. À nous alors du mal bière. Pire bord ou il bière. Du mal chier. Pour marmer terre n'a t'y voile. Tu Ariel, 
Chao beru, ma be. Wai chao wai. Pul pul jo kalang ngiu kining me kapten kapten. Dati ame ma dek em. Unwa luti am kumbeta dek. Ma dep e a chao ni om mera ma uta ki bole ni lukuya. Ah ma rio arit gana rakil kidong ma dek em. Chia mi ara wai boru ni. Aburjoli no rom ki Jesu. Piam bau mi ne. Tid ma be ma tek ma ko nyu ko pa dano pa chai dano kuri ma ne ne wui nyu ki fu nyu ar le gan. Jo mu ke ane tiye ma nyate. En ta aburjoli pe nyate. Da kan ngia ngia ni aburjoli ti kien lu le ngi. Gien ma yau ti ma be jo tiye ma dua ta ma dano ti ka wai jo pe ere. Mu ke ane ma ne ano ke wa dano a wai ke nya dano a wai. Kampala ke duka tuwa ne wakan jo ma aki wa riyan ma dong ke duka tuwa ne wakan lang kan. Chi lo ka mo ma pun pe a fuwa yo en ti ke nu leng. Be na ti ma tuwal ma ke bi ko nyo wan ma tuwal e ya nyi ma fuwa yo. Nya o lu ma ti lo a ti ke mo a ka pia no a ti ke mo a ka pia ra mo a nuwi a be ro. Ma an fura ti di ma ma na ti a ta ne a bruzo le. O yang an mau nutu mau makan pungai kor mau berutut, makai ni anak kor pal ni en, ma abu rujuk lo yang, o yang kor aku en, ni ni anak kor pal en, o yang kor aku en, tut u beri kor peke kuoyo, abedu cabai rachel ma pangio koma, onu beri kengio ni atau. Chicken a Kenyo, a bed of quo, way chani, money again, ma moro, near Burjolo, Timmy Corner, Mamma Mana, theatre, and no. Payman, a good man, Burjolo, Timo, and I know a Burjolo, Beridana, my lane, or Beridana, my bach, I'll make on your down. Payman, Anna Lego, Nicky Cat, Rubango Cat Tibune, the Kamalang, Cat Mano, you book any, or be Beridana, my lane, or poor, be Beridana, my lane. Ana foyo, a foyo mater. Pong kiye me jollo doctor ambur jolly. E karaman pura tiri. Katen kaya pa mama ana ena yetiu gane doctor ambur jolly ki. Upunyo mera kitij mo pull. Ka mera chero ka yuyo gang. Ko yuyo yang yu dada ko. Cakap kuat nene aku, umur aku mah be. Lutih no new jomat dong biru kene nene ngah main timu. Umur aku mah be, wang muiyo jing. Cidong nyuru bad dano, cewek yo ciro. Roma roma ke dano mageno beroka yang ogen doktor amburjole. Tijmo merah timu duang, wei cianne. Dano te ka penya, kit ma mera no ti u kere. Dok dano te ka wacho ngo mo mera no ti ima wakom bedi. A winga winga ni dokto ambur jolo, no pura tiri. E ka era ma amiru danyi kompa kristo, a ti la ten ma tira bin lo ko ti ano ka lo kain. Kau abis nak kata lalu jari, cakap Rio. Wanita no doktor ambujol itu tiada nyuruh no doktor ambujol. Cakap wajib lalu remu ko merah nak kena nuke ko me. No ya yum ramana no merah bercakap. Ada anak bin lalu tiada karpa cica anje cica cijelia. Kiko bu cica cijelia kiko ma. Karma kiko bu cica anje lino leuti. Karma cisa anjili na leo tichi. Cisa anjili na karma kuwa na nyana ama kunyia ama be. Ugeana don katich botgi igang pa cisa kikani. Abiru la tichuno. Uchaku kela kayu bukile chia hene mama ewan. Abiru kayu bu altare abiru kayu bu jo weng. Mana bela tuh mata kenyu? Neo nak latih nanya kamu tiap ni makan. Sorry. 
Docteur Docteur 
ยืนในดอกไอดอกไอป่าเราว่าสิโนโนโนโนไปป่าอาอยากแตกแค่กินน้ำมันปลาไปดูตัวยังควันอยู่นั่นแค่ไปมายืนเพียงควันอยู่ดูตาบุรีเลยคาร์มาวันนี้เอาติดเกลือวันลุทัวดูชูน้องมาเรียนเป็นไงที่อยู่กับขี้จ่าที่อยู่กับมาที่อยู่กับบัวเนี่ยจังหวะนี้เราก็ติดกันติดตาวันดูชูวันนี้เกลือ Ma tak kerja buru lagi, pakai kerja lutut buat penyak. Ni doktor tu kau na. Anak awak doktor perlu cari sapa. Ada ni juga kau na. Anak awak cuma berdua kau. Awak doktor mau kena mana? Pe mau urus merah buru je ni. Ni ha. Awak doktor ni kau biru dok ba. Tua awak dok dok jen. Eh. Anak awak cakap awak berbiru untuk papa. Tak ada doktor awak. Iwa deh. Ini anak kerja lutut buat yang kerja lutut. Cakap buat yang berkerja ni kata tua na leh. เจ้าเยลูกยามาแล้วฮ่าด็อกเตอร์บีราเทียเทียด็อกเตอร์เทียนี่นี่เทียนี่นี่มึงอ่านว่าเทียด็อกเตอร์นี่อาพ่อป้าบ้าบ้าคุยอยู่บ้าบุรุษจังเหรอเฮ้ยบ้าคุยอยู่เกิดตัวในเลนนี่นี่อาบุรุษเลยก็เกิดเทียอีกอาบุรุษเลยด่านมาเล่งอาบุรุษเลยมาบ้านจะด่านมาเล่งนี่อันนี้มาบ้านที่เกิด Tua muka ni lah tua muka benda wajib dong tin tak tin lah. Muka benda pelok, muka yang mana benda tin mana? Muka nong rem rem ma, macam apa benda wajib dong tin tak? Cina buru, apa tu benda tin? Nanti kan nak, nanti kan kena kau yo. Muka nong rem, cakap buru jual lebih rumah lah. Macam ni lah gue, itu muka kain, itu muka kain. อันนั้นว่าจะกลับมาเล่นไม่ได้แน่แน่แล้วกันแล้วกันเหรอว่าเป็นตัวลูกปากกล้ามันเป็นแบบแน่แน่เตี้ยกันกลับมั้งเตี้ยแน่แน่แน่โรบกันยังมาตาจุงกันเลยกันเถอะนะครับเป้ป้าว่ามาเตี้ยเลยแต่เตี้ยไหนช่างวิเป็นบินเอกิบ้าวิเป็นบินเอกิช่างไม่รู้อันนี้ตัววิคิดตัววิรักกันเลยอันนั้นเตี้ยหัวยงวิอะไรกันมันมันแบบมีองค์การกันบ้างเออว่าจะเป้ป้าไอ้เชี่ยป้าจังบ้างดอกกันหลงบ้าเจ้ารวยเนาะแน่เนาะบ้านก็รับติดยาชินตาเบนเวอร์ปาเตอร์ลัวรู้จักของบ้านบริจุลเปิดบ้านชิดอะไรยาชินตาอันวะอันนั้นดักกอกกังบริจุลบริจุลเมื่อวิ่งว่าจะกูมาเนี่ยค่ะเออชิดโดนนนเนนับเป็นรามองก็ไม่ดูกูยุ่งกันชิดอะไรดักกินโอ้ก็กันรับบริจุลเลยก็น่าเดาเพื่อนเนี่ย Uya kanjira kanjuzo nolong rem nolat kau ber eh, aje kau mula gak wajah, uya dok pelar, aje kau kena uya pelar, aje lo kau buru jual mobil ni uya ni, uya kau tin ni pada tien ni, eh, mana kau mian atau tengen kau mah? So tak mian kau tengen kau tien, yop mati tien ni mesti kata ni kau jual mati oli. Antam mati tien lah buru jual ni kekan do, pian mati mau jual mau pol mana nak kau ber eh? ว่าจังเอาด่านเอาเบนมาว่าด่านเอาเบนเนี่ยด่านเนี่ยไปจังแอนโตจังเออเนี่ยเดี๋ยวจะเอาเขาสิเกี่ยวกับกี่กี่เล็กกันเนี่ยแอนเล็กก็ก็ก็ว่าบิลเล็กก็ไม่เชื่อเออก็เล็กอยากดูจากที่จะกลับมาตัวเออเจ้าจังเอาด่าเจ้าหนุ่มยานาที่เอาด่าบุรุษเลี้ยงมายเนมิสโอบวานาวิลเลียมอัมเดซานของเดลิท Teodoro Teika, who was murdered by Idi Amin in the, 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 the early 1971 during the coup d'état. I was born in Jinja in 1948, and uh, that was the same time when the sitting king of England was also born. I grew up. And in 1952, we came back to settle in Kaket village, Kaket Paris, uh, Amiel, and Lapono Sub County. I grew up and I started my primary one from that hand until primary four. That's when my father 
thought of the distance all the way from Kaket to Amiel was a bit this far and decided to transfer me to Calon Primary School. Uh, my first contact with Dr. Ambrizoli was in 1961 when I was in primary five. My colleagues who were altar boys in Calon kindly invited me to join them and learn how to save mass in Latin. Indeed, I accepted and I was very willing, since I was very in, uh, interested in prayers. I learned to say, to say mass very fast, and all the time I was with Dr. Ambrizoli, saving mass in the morning. I knew him as a father. Then later on, one day, when I had flu, I took my time to go to the hospital. There was a certain type of drug which you just sniff in case you have flu. That would clear everything. Then I saw him putting on the medical gown. Then I was surprised. I asked myself who Dr. Ambrizoli is. I indeed saw him moving up and down, doing moving to the examination room and gathering for the patients. Then I knew he was shooting two birds with only one stone. Doc Ambrizoli was very active. Somebody very humble, very diligent in his work. And uh, by the way, he is also very unselfish. He had a very strong love for his patients. Dr. Ambrizoli was also somebody with a great love, especially for the sufferings. I wanted to imitate him. That's when I took my time to ask Father Alfred Malandra, who was our parish priest in Cologne, if I could join the seminary where I could become like Dr. Ambrizoli. And indeed I succeeded. I joined a book of seminary, then went up to Father's La Church Seminary. But later on, I couldn't go any further because my vocation actually diminished. Many are called, but few only are chosen. The second contact with Dr. Ambrizoli was when I completed my O-level in 1972. I came back and he invited me to come and work with him. I didn't hesitate since he knew me. I started working with him. At first, he took me to the outpatient department where I was there trying to help the new doctors who were foreigners doing interpretations. Then later, after some time, it took me to surgical ward where I learned how to do some dressings. And uh, later, it took me to uh, the pharmacy where I also managed to learn the various type of drug and how to uh, stock them and issue them to the different department within the medical world. Uh, then uh, later on, he also thought of bringing me to the laboratory where I later on qualified as a medical laboratory technician. That was my actual profession up to now. I love to work with Dr. Ambrizoli. Dr. Ambrizoli had a very strong contact with uh, Dr. Palmiro Donini. They were very frank because I see them all the time consulting each other, especially on certain strange diseases like the bucket cells and leukemia. They uh, would ask me to prepare the film then later on, they would come to see it together. That was the time I also took opportunity to learn how to uh, comment on the films. Uh, actually, when I completed six years, I asked him if he could recommend me to go for further studies where I could 
elevate my level of education, especially my profession as a medical laboratory technician. But before, he had invited uh, a, a senior medical laboratory technologist called Colaldo Penusho, who taught us for one year all the techniques of the laboratory. And I mastered it so much that when I went for my training in Jinja, everything was very easy for me. I was only walking over because practically I had known almost everything within the syllabus. Dr. Ambrizoli was always very diligent. Dr. Ambrizoli had a special liking for this patient. Now, uh, there are two scenarios which I want to tell you, which I saw physically when I was working with Dr. Ambrizoli. One, there was a, a Kormojong warrior who was wounded one day when he was actually raiding. He was wounded with an arrow. Then they took him to a beam hospital, but they could not manage to remove the arrow. So they decided to transfer this patient to Kalong Hospital, to Dr. Ambrizoli, to manage. And by then, some of the internal organ had already rotten. It was not easy. Dr. Ambrizoli took it as an emergency. The patient was taken to the theater and he opened the abdomen. The smell was so difficult, so tough, that most of the workers had to take on of their heel. They ran away, but Dr. Ambrizoli persevered. He managed to close after removing the harrow. So I think Dr. Ambrizoli was able to work even under very harsh condition. The second scenario was when a certain lady from the Republic of Congo was brought to Kalongo by the name Songa. He was the wife of a prominent man, actually the, the person who was responsible for education in the whole of Congo Republic. The high, one side of the high was bulging out. And this person had trouble with his wife in various parts of Africa, but in vain they could not succeed to get where this patient could get uh, uh, management. So they brought the patient to Uganda, but they went up to Kenya first, and then later on they traveled by a beam. By then, Dr. Aloy was there. Dr. Aloy advised them maybe to try Kalong, but uh, Abim could not manage. And they brought the patient here. The patient was actually francophone. That means he was talking only in French. But Dr. Amrizoli fortunately knew how to communicate in French with the husband of that lady. He at first advised this patient to go to Paris, where he could get better management. But later on, he thought and decided to do that operation. He came to me and asked me the situation of the bank. And uh, I told him that the bank was OK. We had enough blood with different groups. That is blood group O, blood group A, blood group uh, AB, and B at the same time. So he was satisfied. He decided to do the following, the operation of this lady. With the assistance of the Reverend Sister Enrica, they started the operation as early as 7 a.m. It took them almost nine hours to finish the operation. It was a complete major operation. Now, after the operation, they invited one of the pediatricians, who was called Alfred Stoffel, working with Children's Ward, 
to come and see how the operation went. The doctor was very surprised. He almost knelt down. But Dr. Ambrizoli said, no, 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 don't do that. I'm a human being like you. I don't deserve the respect you want to give me. So Dr. Serfal said in a remark that uh, he had stayed in Africa for the last 29 years. He has not heard of such operation. Even when he was in Irish, he was coming from Ireland, of course. He never heard about that such operation. I hold Dr. Ambrizoli my water of trust. That's what he said. I'm called Accord Lillian. I come from Kuyue Sub County, Atut Parish, uh, in uh, Udong Chapel. That's my small church. Uh, I just want to give some brief testimony about Dr. Ambrizoli. I was told, actually, I was sick. By that time, I was like <coughs> five years. I felt sick. Then my ma mother brought me in the hospital. But something just happened. Doctor just came in, gave me just a touch only, then I recovered. That's what my mother told me. Because by that time I was young, like five years, I, I couldn't. I couldn't express it myself, but the, it was, I was told. Uh, so also my appeal also goes to all people who are preparing for the beautification of Dr. Ambrizoli. Let us have one heart. Let us cooperate. Let us stand as a family of one man. Thank you. Ochan Alfred. <clears throat> I was born in 1954 in Kalon Hospital here. When Ambrizoli was already a doctor here, and our Paris priest was Alfred Malandra. So in 1968, I got malaria when I was in Omiya Pachua. I was studying in Omiya Pachua Primary School. So I was brought in the hospital here. When I reached here, nurses who were working here, they put what blood on me. That um, there's no blood on my body. So the, on that process, when they were putting blood on my body, the blood was not moving. So they called Dr. Ambrizoli. The Ambrizoli came, rushed really quickly, he was from the theater, and said, what is going on? Why is the blood not moving? Then he asked those people, did you test the group of this man? With the blood you are now putting on, his, uh, putting on, on him. They said, we do not did that one. Then he said, you stop. This group, this blood group is not for this, this person. This one is on A. You are putting the, the, what, the group, B group. So this is unfair. Then he said, I'm, now I'm not going to put any blood on you now. I'm now giving you this small medicine. You swallow it, stay in this bed for four days. I will be monitoring you. When I was there in the hospital, I was surrounded by the people from Zaire, Boga Zaire. That, by that time, they called Boga Zaire. People from Zambia, Sudan, Kenya, Malawi, almost all over Africa. We were surrounding with them. I was asking them, why are you coming from very far places like this? They said, young boy, this man is different from other doctors we have been seeing in some of all this world. He's the best. That is why we are, we are coming here. So that was what they were telling me. And they were very happy. They were giving us some food, which I have, have ever, never tested in this world. Those from Somalia were also here. So when, when I finished these four days, Dr. Ambrizoli came and said, you can now go home, discharge me. And said, you are not going to pay even a single thing now. Because these people have put a wrong blood to you. 
and that one was not your mis mistake. So the man leave me like that, I move home. And the testimony I want to give again is my mother. She's 92 years old now. She's still alive. When my father went for a war in, uh, in Kenya, there was Mau Mau re rebellion. So my father, my mother got sick, coughing from there. Then they tried all the doctors from there. European, whom, whom, which were the army doctors, they failed. So they said, ah, ah, Augustina Kwango, you take your woman back home now. We heard that you have a very good doctor there. Then my father said, yes, we have a very good doctor in Kalongo called Dr. Ambruzoli. So my, my mother was brought here. Uh, Dr. Ambruzoli examined her. And she found that she have a what? She have an asthma. During those days, asthma, they were doing what? Surgical. They were doing surgery. Then he said, ah, I'm not going to do operation on you. But I have a medicine which I've just brought recently from our, our, our place. You will be swallowing it. When you feel very cold, you swallow it once. When you get, uh, you find that there is no coldness, you just stay like that. And my mother started using that, that, word, that medicine and she's using it up to now. My mother is still alive with, with, uh, with, uh, with that asthma. She has stayed for six years. She's around at home, she cannot walk. I think if you get time also, you can go and get the tes testimony from, she's 92 years old. So this is what I want to say about Ambrosol. And what I've seen really, the man is happy. Every time I'm asking our doctors, our nurses, they should take the example of Ambrosoli. If you go to the hospital, you sign from maybe a, lady, a nurse which they quarreled with the husband, he used to take that issue even to the hospital. That one with Ambrosoli, that thing was not there. Eh? The man was happy, but he's not happy when somebody died. This is what I see, I've seen from Ambrosoli. If somebody died, you find that the doctor is not happy that day. Said, what is wrong? God, you assist me. Let it be the last. This one be the last. So this is what I said, the testimony I want to give about Ambrosoli. Ambrosoli is now a saint. And we are celebrating the right thing, not the wrong thing. Thank you. My name is Arudul again, Jovita. I'm now 64 years of age. I was born in January 1958 from a village called Pachiatora, some six kilometers away from Kalong. Uh, I want to testify and give some evidence about the work of Dr. Father Ambrosoli. I remember in 1972, when I was in P5, I, around August, September there, when it was very rainy. We were young boys, very eager to go fishing in the local stream around our village called Awoch. Uh, during that time, young boys were fond of uh, going to fish in that river. So I joined them. Before we went to the river in the morning, we bought some new fish hook. Eh? I was trying to tie the string onto the fish hook, a very big one. I beat the fish hook metallic. Eh? Unfortunately, as I was going to pull, as I pulled the string, the sharp part of the hook got stuck onto my tongue eh? and pierced it just right from the top up to down. Eh? Then the young boys whom I was with them together at home called my parents and my elder brothers. They were very much alarmed. Actually, they tried to pull the hook away from my tongue. They could not. Then they suggested that I should be brought to the hospital. I remember I was carried from the village just in that attire I was dressed in. Eh? 
very dirty and actually I was thinking that I, I would not survive. Eh? They hurried me to Kalong Hospital, some six kilometers away eh, from our home village. That is the time when I was taken to Dr. Ambrosioli. When I reached the hospital, immediately after passing through some sisters or nurses, they informed the doctor who advised the nurses to take me to the theater. I went to the theater. What the doctor did, Dr. Ambrosioli did to me, which I still recall very vividly, he came and patted on my back and actually smiled, or I would say he laughed and told me that my son, don't mind, eh? you will survive. Eh? I, there was a small string hanging from my mouth and the hook was just in my mouth. Just within a short moment, I realized they told me to lie down and uh, I could vividly see the doctor removing the, the hook from my tongue but I was not feeling any pain at all. I think they did something which made the pain disappear there. Eh? <laughs> I was seeing, I was, they were even talking to me, they were, they were even laughing. Within a short moment, I remember it did not take even more than 10 minutes. The doctor himself removed the hook with a, a small type of, uh, I think th that is a operation knife. Eh? They splitted my tongue a little bit and they just removed the, 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 the metallic hook from my tongue. Immediately they told my guardians, the, the people who took me, that don't mind, this boy will go and recover. There is no need for him to remain in the hospital. Eh? I was told by my parents and the persons who took me to the hospital that they could not believe that the operation was so simple and it took so little time like that. Eh? Within a moment, they gave me some, some tablets to swallow. They put some sort of ointment uh, around the point where they had removed the work from. And just that very day, they told me to go home it was actually what I could remember as a miracle because I did not feel the pain and the, moreover they told me to go back home a situation which my parents were thinking that could make me actually die or sleep in the hospital for some weeks. Eh? I personally believe after that that the doctor had a lot of skills. Eh? The skills he used to remove the hook from my tongue is what I will never forget. Secondly, the consolation he gave me and my parents who took me to the hospital showed that he was a very, very kind doctor. He knew how to console the parents, to actually make the pain disappear, even the operation could be done. Now that he is going to be beautified, eh? when I'm still alive, I feel very, very happy. Because uh, I believe I, is, I will be able to have a saint who worked on me eh? and I'm still alive. I appreciate and I wish he should be beautified because his work, his skill, his humility was really great. Thank you. Yeah, Mrs. Grace, what are you Doctor <laughs> Telling me, Quamon, no, do lie, and Gin my name, my bear, my doctor, and Brazil, the team of Borough Penny, and then a bed down my query, thing I bed do get. Very near and young, to what you see any pair. Gin my doctor, and Brazil, the team of Kibore, which are the empty interview, the cho, who quam a chole or a wang, Carmen, a chole, and a tear, do and cacati bore a kind. Doctor Ambrosoli, who was in a new midaro, to new arm, a bed darne, my and Doctor Ambrosoli, you knew my arm. Would you catch a guinea doctor Ambrosoli? You a car, Mango, 
ma doctor mbruzo le gitiero le kobo en do ngoko ma doctor mbruzo le gitwale le yara pian dano tika ngwej ma duong tieno do ngkany doctor mbruzo le gitwale en le yara kunu en to am doctor mbruzo le ye unyoma o tiolo batwara ben en ye gang kwam jimi wen en yo temo mana ara beru kanyi lo tiyan mo no ti akwan ma doctor mbruzo le tie no lo tiyan na ti akwan ke nyeng doctor mbruzo le en de kar ma doctor mbruzo lo tiero yo mo ke ken do beru pere e kar ma dong dano dugu mo akama dan ti ngwa ti kam kanyi e piara mo akali ba tiel ki mi abu ngwam ki piara piara bu ngwam wi abor ma dan ti abi ne kam kan en ye twara ci ko to ma nga dan docteur mbrozoli nan ti kere en wati am a wiñu ko ma liat en to ma fot pa wiñu docteur mbrozoli waji ya lo ka ciel ke ken ni la tena an neno ni nen ciel mi yer bit ciok kera dok ben be gami ci amo ke ken ci ruono ci ko to ne ma liat ci wati docteur mbrozoli waji wa be ume kwiri ka ciel wa beri kwiri ka ciel kama ana ti ye en ye yin ben be beri ye ki ka no wati lekke ni o ci ko tuone ku meno ti ci bira dek ci wati ni doctor mbrozo ti ka luanga pe do pa pera ci ko no ruenyo ci a gana dani en yu nyoma doctor mbrozo li ko yu nyoma ko ni be ki do gate kan o mi ana ke doctor mbrozo li ka ma ki yaw ki ko ni mi na ten na ma ci woda gi na da na na de da ti doctor mbrozo lu ti yutane am na beru ki megu ma ci el ngara mal en rem ci wacha ni megu no wacha ni tax ni ti ma raj ma da pe ngo pe kay kat wo ko ma nak a waya kat ko ene ni a dax ni do beto i eti ni da da ha ci a wacha an pa ci ar ka mo an na kat wo ko ci ci a ma ke lor en ge twalo megu no beru wacha nan man wo ci wuri to ko no ke ci ar ya jo ha wa ni doctor brozo li tie ka ge ya en ci doctor brozo li ne ke kar ma ke twalo megnu no ti ma raj ma na daktar ben go neno ti ma raya de da ti ana a ti ra go nyim do ki wi tiel pa doktor mbrozoli chaani o ti mbrozoli ina beri ti wore e bi be e beri kwara ti wori en ki ter ar yang ni ina ye pe ke para mo e ko me ente kwany la ti chaani we ko bed ma pe gi ya ente yo nge a e ke nya bina cha ko beri nyim office kenyu imateniti beer matitiri ane an ka ci wora ke lor ni kur 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 ki dugu cian wa ci mami ciok jemi ciar e ot mateniti kama monu nyuali ye ti ka lok ci awe ah tan ma ki yaw beer ki te ni ci yunge ci amatitiri ana adonyo ko kwene i leva ruma wa ci ko min la tene ki yaw joma ki yaw ga di wa ci a jome ke le ge way mi ni nya nga way nya grace ni yo ni mo a ki ti ta ni way nya ngi grace and the food result gi pour du kan no ti yam gi en am a way way an nan do ti ngi a ci el ti yamo ci ana ci er ge da ma ti yam a ti ra nan gi ci a waje waje nas ma ti yam ni en ye la ti na ma ko me yo ti pe mega en na ti yam ni en ye mega en no me on la ti en pa doctor ambrose le ka mero me no be ru mega ci joonu ko beer ka nyaar way ci an ge luwane men korri ci kaar ma na beer ku mera ci ru yang mo ma don ke yaw pe ka mo o tiata la tenu katu mu no don ke wa ci ta ha en to ci la tenu en e yana en ma ne o ta pa doctor brusel mo temi ko ma no do be ngeni pe doctor o ka yo ci ru way la tenu en don pe ka ti ara kwany kwany men ne ento eno beer ma ko lo ka en ma ne docteur ambrose le tim ko ma tek en en ara foy ngo nya na nya ko kala chan ki nyale mo ka tiara bi chel bi a dek ani kar ma ki nyala kwano kany a do kany beer ka le ga le ga kany ki kar ma nyom me a nyu ala lo tin a rio kar ma nyu ala lo tin a rio a ci ngo ko don pa beru ka nyual pi ngo ka pa a bini o riat bo doctor brujoli u ca ko pi ma pi mo ci wa ci kala yin gi mo ma raj pere i i ko mi nyo yi ci ci ni yin bi nyual ci kwa ni ya mo mi ya mo nyo ka ma na mo nyo a beru pi kare ma nak ma ramu duya bi ciel 
I am called Ukidi Henry Achalam. I was born in a small village called Olong. This is a life history narrated to me by my mother and my father. After only three, three weeks on earth, I felt seriously sick. And my parents carried me to Kalong Hospital. There, Ambrosio was still a new and a young father and doctor. Just at the arrival, it was only luck, I think sent by God, to meet him first with a sister called Soleta. I was already on a dying point as to their story. So the doctor rushed to, me, to them and said, what is wrong? Say, the child is sick. Is he baptized? They said, no. The first thing Father did was to give me baptism in the name of Okiri Enrico. Only baptizing me, my mother told me I started to open up my eyes and I started to shock. I could be able to feed. This actually gave the two parents a very deep interest in religion and they became good and great religious. Followed, they also asked me to follow the system. Secondly, by the year uh, 1965, when I joined junior here in Kalongo, Dr. Ambuzoli went to the school just nearby here, we were here and gave us a teaching on how to love the poor. We joined YCS, Young Christian Society, whereby by then he was moving with us to help the poor, the young people who were left in small and useless huts in the village here. We were constructing houses for them in the help and the stress faith given by Ambrizoli. More so, Ambrizoli came out to choose Africa and come and to come and help us. Yet they believe Africa was a dark continent. But God forced him, gave him the help, gave him the power to come and help us. For this I confirm. Though I'm not good, I believe, strongly believe, he deserved being holy. And he's holy. He has helped very many people taking no concern of money. When you are sick, it begins to treat you fast, not asking for money. So may God 
put him in among the holy people and let him rest in peace. Thank you. My name is Aobare Alice. I was born in 1952 in Kalan Hospital here. I fall sick in 1972, seriously sick. I was uh, suffering from measles. There was wounds in my nose, in my ears, and on my sores. So the sickness was seriously bad. My mother was fearing to touch me, but my father was brave enough. When they came, Dr. Ambrosoli went to them, say, what is wrong with your daughter? Say, this daughter is almost dying. Then he came, he bent on my back like this, then he smiled a bit. Mother was crying, my mother was crying. Mm. Then they took me to a private room, a small room. There, he gave my, my father a small tablet like this. Then I swallow. I stayed for one day in that private room. Then the other, the next day, I was taken to a pri where measles, to the measles ward. There they stay with me for two, three days. Then I started recovering. The wound was there, all right, but I can ask for water. Then they gave me some water. He went to, he went and brought some, some food. That food I do not know. He was giving me just little like, little, little like that. I stayed for one month in the hospital. Then I started recovering. Up to now, as I talk, I have not suffered more, any more from measles. Uh, that is why I say I stand firm that Dr. Ambrosoli really is somebody who can be among, who can be beautified among saints because he is, he was working as somebody like Jesus, can smile, can talk sense, and can, can be put, he stepped on you as he is the one now do suffering. That is what I can I, I say can be beautified. The second uh, witness is that my brother, our last born, was suffering from a stomach pain, intestine. He was about to be operated, but unfortunately, he, doctor was having so many medicine in his house here. Then he took that medicine to him. The boy started recovering because when, when he is suffering from, from that the intestine, you can see the, inten, the intestine walking as if some, something is now going around. So within three, four days, the, the man started recovering slowly, slowly like this, like that. Up to now, he is now well and he is still alive. That is what I say, Dr. Ambrosoli is among the best saying. Thank you. Nina. Nina, Mrs. Santina. Hello, Orient. Mwahana don Pierre Biero, we are bitter at you. Oh, 
I am 64 years old. In 1980, I was pregnant. The pregnancy was 11 months. So from the hospital, they said they put water on me, drip, so that I produce. But the drip came only 10 minutes. I pump it. The, 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 the life was going. So they went and called Ambrosoli. When Ambrosoli came, Ambrosoli said, my daughter, can you cast a pen for operation? But now when he gave me the pen, the pen was too big. I could not cast it. Then he said, now you said, La Mama Maria, all of me. Then they say that, I said, Mama, Maria, only. Mama, Maria, only. 
So from there, they started running with me in the theater. Now, when they reached in the theater, Ambrosuli said, me now, I cannot survive. Yes, I'm already dead. He has to do operation so that the baby remain because the mother is now useless, dead. So Ambrosoli collected 10 women. They were in the theater praying rosary for me. So when they did the operation, they removed the child. Ambrosoli said, now, Lord Jesus, but I was told because I was already of that the mother of the child is dead. Now, Lord Jesus, can you really let this kid remain on the mother? The mother is already finished. Now, Ambrosoli, that Ambrosoli said, ah, Lord Jesus, do a miracle for me. Let Olga survive. Because my, ah, daddy is the one who built the church of Cologne. They were the people making matafali for building the church. Let the, the, the daughter survive. Now, from there, they operated, started doing operation at 11. They finished at 3. From there, I was taken in the, in the bed room. On Saturday, I was operated on Friday. On Saturday, that Dr. Ambrosoli came to check on me. Doctor. And <laughs> a chaku were a man of wear, man of poor kitchen. Yana chaku were a yim danum, a luak bidubber, but choke, and chero timonga chaku put to pala, and it did a yaki, the de yaki deki, man yum chin, bow no, a bull till you get a coma, where I get a bull jolly up from bed, but one of the get a bull jolly, one watch, chara, chara, danum a kid bear. My doctor, my kid bear, I don't meet a carry, Luak to the mirror, Nicky carry, the king of my life. Hey, young Burjoli, the work of one, the Burjoli. We had a Burjoli, one to her, do the Burjoli. Why, I'm young, I'm young, Angelica, don't. I'm in my name, Marale, or she'll never want to hear Bishu at that. Kumbedea 
Jamie, my bed, my own bed, got him in there. Down on me, and my child, not a name. Bianca down, Bini or Yare, down on all ye form, Jeffy. And pack of Donny or Kitty, my Bianca Donny, it is a capimo lotuo. Working Marco, we down command down more any did you, Marco, we go karma for Marco, we know to need to are there. And I got on Marco, we know to need on yum, dog bay, each young or bed. Pigi, Madame, no ticket, come, get in my bedroom, no down on now, get look at Kit and no market, get down. You don't am Dr. Ambrosolo TV, comma, a karma to hotel talk on Mara. Carme ke kela aria kanyo pange o gema pange o koma karma ke kela anti koma ingeni aria kacha o ngeo koma achi ang mabe pete ako pa bujole ento dong e karma ke lor aria kanyo ke gumarat an ben a war kacher ke doctor ambrosole me chia leira karma ke ke lor aria kanyo achi a war ke kanyo Ma mutaka do ri ki kanya wa ka ma wi o gi ri wa po nan ki ka ma wo wa ro wa o yu tu ga re lo kwa le ku ya ki cha ko ya bo ri sa e ko mutaka when we were approaching the kole they started to to shoot the 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 convoy where we were moving so dr brujole came out from the vehicle, running beside us like this. Was just talking, oh my people, oh my people, oh my people, run up to there, then back way. Then he showed the, the, the smoke coming. The, the smoke was so dark. He was say, oh, the hospital is burned. The hospital is burned. My people, oh my Lord. So he was crying, and even uh, we were also crying. They were uh, people were shedding tears, tears when the doctor was also running beside us. So we moved up to Lira. When we reached, almost we were almost reaching Lira. He he he, he, he came out from the vehicle again. He ran to the. To, uh, to that officer, we were taking us there, the army man. Okay. Take my people where they can rest. And because we were there, don't know where to go, then they took us to, to that farm, a lair farm. We stayed there for three days, then he called us again to Lira, that call my people. He was already sick. Called us there. He was there laying on the bed. Was the the tape recorder was there. He was also seeing. He was just uh, uh, trying to sing, but we were also there. Then we. They say the, 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 the sister who was taking care of her said, you can move outside. He was crying for you people of Kalong, so you can leave him now. They had to come here. So they took us back to that uh, farm, a little farm. On the following day, we, we continue to go to Soroti. We left him there in the hospital. When we reached there, we had the break news of the death of Dr. Mr. <laughs> what I've learned from him is the love he shows us. He shows a great love to the people of this place. And the breath he has in the heart just to run when the bullet is continuing. He ran. When you stand, he just push you like this. You, you fall down. Then he, he ran like that. He don't want anybody that the bullet will shoot. So 
he was he was running one pool and people like this to to lay down. You been in my Africa, you know, from Doctor Ambrosoli. Ada, dear my boy, Doctor Uno Bene, a tamani mi arbeke. Yan dano, ma kire ti, ma no dano cha ko neno ti kire, ma put en ko ingom kan. What teacher mo be rukati mo ne? Uno tanga paru ba donki ye. Chalo changa lutuo, chalo timi jamu kan. Owero. Ana morone, Dr. Ambrosoli, tie dano malen. Ana koyo.